Greetings to come to the world. Oh, isn't today we're gonna be looking at a one-six scale assault tank commander, Star Wars commander trooper pooper. Because we have been waiting for this guy for a long time. Well, I have, and I very much so like this character. Matter of fact, it is a very beautiful rendition of the movie. I like it. I like it a lot. Of course, coming from Rogue One, one of the best Star Wars films we've gotten since the Age of Ice. With that being said, check out Comic Concepts down below in the description. Click on the link and you can find him. You can find him through all the digging and all the mess. You can find him with his Harry Potter. Harry Potter! Uh. Anyway, here's the box of the Assault Tank Commander. Now, this guy I, I really was anticipating because it's one of the best trooper designs I've ever seen. Really, I've ever seen. And uh, I've, I've made full one-to-one uh, -one scale helmets of this guy. I absolutely love this design. It may be a bit biased on this review. Not my sexuality, the review. So, looking at the front of the box, as you can see, Assault Tank Commander. And then at the side of the box, Assault Tank Commander. And at the back of the box, Disney. Because I think Disney owns pretty much everything, including my virginity that I lost a few years ago. Assault Tank Commander on the back. And then at the side, again, you have the Assault Tank Commander. And then the front, Assault Tank Commander. And then there it is. Boom. Inside art looks magnificent. Now, um, uh, inside art is beautiful, of course. Uh, I don't know what this is, but um, I want to show you something on the box cover art, right? I'm going to make you go through this and take a closer look at the box art. So when I bring up the figure, you're going to see a bit of what they did with this trooper. Um, they brought it up with um, Captain Rex, I do believe, Captain Rex, and now this guy. They added a hue of green. like. Where did that come from? I understand that's your uh, touch of weathering hot toys, but the hue of green isn't necessary on all these figures like that. I really hope they don't incorporate that into future clones or future stormtroopers or whatever in the weather side of stuff. Um, I don't like that matte weathering style. As you can see, the details are pronounced. You can see very scratchy and cool and stuff like that. and and like nice depth of weathering and scratches are looks like scratches. So when I do bring up the figure, keep that in mind, what I'm going to be talking about. And here's the figure. So do you guys see what I'm talking about? The details have been taken away. I, I feel this guy, it looks a bit rushed, rushed. If uh, not rush, rushed. Um, you can see uh, when I'm going to zoom in here, you're gonna to start to see where those details look kind of printed on more so and less uh, realistic looking. It's very like, it's very cloudy shade type weathering. I, I just don't like the end result of from what this guy we had on the prototype images versus what we got, you know? So let me bring up um, the box right here. You see this? I know people are gonna say, oh, you can't complain because you know, mass production, shut up. I'm paying a price for this, shut up. This is what I want. And this is what we got. Hot Toys, you, you kind of dim me down on that, boy. Come on, lad, what, did, what happened? Um, as you can see, the scratches aren't as defined. It looks a bit rushed. It looks a bit uh, thrown out there. I don't like that. I don't like that they hit that mark on the trooper I love so much. Um, this is going to be a trooper I feel as one of the grails because it is a Rogue One trooper. So with that being said, they should have done a little bit better on this guy. Now, another issue I have with Hot Toys is that their placement of these so-called, I would say, like a rubber padding or, or styrofoam padding that's on his shoulders, it, I understand, is there to make space and look, you know, like it's shaped out. But on this particular one, including uh, what I had before was Shore Troopers, it had this problem where the foam was just wh wherever they placed it on the factory, and then it formed, um, formed right there. So it looks so boxy. It just looks so boxy. I, I was going as far as shaving down these, these like foam pads inside just to make it, you know, more form fitting because whenever you do shape them out, it kind of just moves back to where it wants to be, where it came from, from the factory. As you can see, this has a big indentation on the inside. 
Um, so that's a big complaint for me that these foam thingies kind of really just throw out your your look. It throws out the look. Uh, it throws it off for me because it adds that square body form, and I don't I don't like that. Square body form is kind of it. It doesn't look real. It doesn't have that shape as you would see like on a Hot Toys Batman, like real shoulders and real bulk. Uh, this adds to like it looks like a, a like a toy, and I, I I know it's a toy, but I want my hot toys to be looking fine and fire. Another thing, um, everything else actually is pretty good, <laughs> but those are my two big complaints so far, right out of the box. Uh, the, those shoulder pads, and then the weathering is dimmed down. But other than that, guys, other than that, as you can see, the figure is looking fancy and balling. I like the whole rest of the figure besides the whole green tone that we've been given and. Like you can see right there on the shoes. Now, this guy doesn't come with any accessories. Besides hands, you get this, which you, know, you guys know I'm not a hand fan. I, I'm just uh, all for the feet. You get this E11 blaster, of course, the modified one with a flashlight. And this one has an extended clip because why not? Bigger is better. We all like it that way in the from the back. There we go. Extended clip. It is there that's the addition to this guy i like it it's pretty cool looking at least it comes with a blaster unlike the artillery trooper which didn't get a blaster which is still fine in my book but some people didn't like it i do like this blaster very nicely weathered and this nice hard plastic as you can see it gives out like that real stock advantage on this guy and this one's actually tight i like that Ooh. okay so but that's the blaster as you can see nice little blaster cool and then you have the base. The base follows, which we've always gotten from Rogue One line, which is the this tab that kind of comes on and off, which is pretty cool, adds a little flavor to it. I think uh, Hot Toys just kept going with it for the Rogue One line, I like it. Then on the base itself, you have the tank commander staring at you like that. So the, as you can see, there's the Empire emblem right there, and it is a sticker that you can lift off or peel, on, peel off and put on. Um, it's just like a card. Uh, so I usually use mine as a card because in case of resale value, you know, that's kind of something I gotta keep in mind. And then it has the hover tank trooper helmet right there and the metal plaque, which I love. I love the metal plaques. Keep it going, Hot Toys. Metal plaques is the way to go. Like I said, you can see those green-ish type boots. I don't like that green tone. It's kind of, ugh. It's kind of nasty looking. Then moving up to the back, you see more of the weathering throughout. The nice Nazi Germany pants that you, you can wide it, you can futz with it and make it look more accurate and better. And then the thermal detonator, which I do like that the thermal detonator is attached to his belt rather uh, via magnet or clip. That is the best option for me. I think that's the best way to go. And then you see more of its details in the back panel of his, uh, I think, I, I guess that's like his breathing system i guess that's what it is on stormtroopers and then that i mean that looks good it lo it's pretty good looking i like it in general in the collection it'll look good but it's not the uh weathering we got i've seen it in person at the star wars celebration it was a lot wider than this um this one has more of a like a wash like a dirt wash that just covers the entire thing and you can't really see the highlights you know you can't really see i mean you you can catch a bit right here where it is like white around here and then it gets dark around some areas but that deep you know rich feeling it's not there it's not there in this but oh well mass production and then the back of the helmet i love this helmet design i absolutely love the helmet design i love everything about this trooper this is one of my favorite all-time troopers uh of of all troopers it just it really has that that look and as you can see the spin around on this helmet very gorgeous looking absolutely love the way this figure looks so all in all that figure just has the weathering issue that I have the less lack of detail and uh, the um, wh what else what was I picking at what else was it the shoulder issue that those things are big nitty pickies for me because that's what that's what matters on this figure I feel that's what matters so let's go ahead Get into articulation and see what this guy is all about because I have not bent this guy at all. So, ooh, okay, there we go. So we do have nice double joints here. He can bend all the way, and then moving him around, you can you can pretty much get that helmet every which way. Torso 
is a bit limited, but I'm not going to give that to um, Hot Toys. I'm going to give that to the actual, ooh, nice walking pose. I'm going to give that to the actual armor design that Star Wars gave me. Um, not ratcheted at all. That's not ratcheted at all. Uh, is that a problem? No, because it's not Spider-Man. I don't really need ratcheted on my joints here, but I would like that. I would like if we do get ratcheted joints on these guys. But nonetheless, the figure does look awesome. You have nice, beautiful articulation on the feet here. Every which way is a free movement way. I like to be free. I like that. So I like the whole walking movement that he was doing here. Um, put your foot out, do something nice. Um, but this figure awkwardly stands really well. Um, it's, it's, I don't know, it stands really well without a base. It's, it's holding joints very nicely. Um, I like it. It just stands regardless. Let me see how fast I can, oh, see, he caught himself. How fast can you go? Oh, well, he caught himself. Oh, you see that? He just stands weird. Okay, maybe don't spit him as fast. But, I mean, you guys get the point. He's a really good figure, and I think for the price, I think for the price, he's a really good figure. Uh, this guy is absolutely amazing just because of the figure design. Um, but besides the weathering and stuff, if you ignore that, I would love a couple of these on the shelf. I would love a couple of these on a the shelf. Of course, uh, would I be one to repaint the, the figure? Maybe, because... This doesn't sit well with me because it's one of my most, I mean, it's one of my grill type troopers. So with that being said, I would probably have to knock down some points off of this guy just because of that. Honestly, just because of that. I, I, I just have to give it to him because when we're paying the money, I mean, you, you got to have it deliver. You got to deliver. Um, so I'm going to have to knock it down a few points. Um, probably hit it down to eight out of ten. I want to say I give it an 8 out of 10, guys. This is a really good figure, and it does come with some cons. It does come with some cons, only if you want to get picky with it. Now, of course, I, the reviewer, me, myself, and I, Easy Company Collectibles, the Hot Toys Wizard. Yes, you heard it right, baby. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, C-Skill continue viewers. Um, I'm going to have to give it an 8 out of 10. Now, it's not bad that I'm giving one of the best figure designs I've ever seen on Hot Toys, an 8 out of 10, it's still a very good um, score. It's just that Hot Toys, you need to in, in just improve, improve on your final product releases. I mean, I've, I've had horror stories where I've lost a thousand, over a thousand bucks on a statue cancel pre-order because, I mean, the company just didn't deliver. It kind of sucks. It really does. And to see this coming from Hot Toys, I mean, it's... It's not killer like statues would, but uh, I would like to see a better uh, quality go through into your final product, Hot Toys. So with that being said, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. And guys, if you like what you saw here in these company collectibles, make sure you like and subscribe. Liking the, these videos help me out. It helps out the uh, channel, so you can always uh, keep on liking it, as you can see. Ooh, sexy body. But um, there it is. The Harvard Tank Commander... Uh, assault tank commander. Uh, I, I, you know, you know what I call it? A hover tank commander. They call it the assault tank commander. I talk, I call it the hover tank because I'm back in time and hover tank sounds more accurate. But cool, cool beans. As you can see, what you see here, eight out of ten. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if I'm too harsh on this guy. Or if I am, oh well, that's how I am. And then what you think. I want to know what you think about this guy. How many you're getting? Are you going to trooper build, trooper build, army build, build, build? Dun, 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 dun. Home Depot, dun, dun, dun. No. All right. Eight out of ten. And I'll see you guys on the flippity-dippity side. Goodbye.